a lot going on. We just got a lot of cloud cover and it's just enough lifting in the cloud cover to give us some sprinkles here and there. There's, they seem to be clustered around the radar site here, so some of this may not be reaching the ground uh, up here in northwest Portland up into Vancouver. In fact, the only measurable rain in the Portland area since midnight is up at Kelso. I know that's not the Portland area, but within that map is 500 of an inch. And you can see the uh, low clouds kind of lingering over the top of the West Hills. You can really see how the atmosphere is a fluid there kind of bobbing along like waves in the ocean. And then the low-level clouds clear out a little bit in the last half hour. And ooh, that's beautiful. Nora, I love the beginning of night skiing where it's still light outside, but everything's starting to get that Christmassy glow, right? Love that. It does that in March, too, though, even when it's not Christmas. So snow-level forecast. Notice it stays relatively low over the next week. I mean, at times it touches the top of the coast range here and there. It's almost always below the passes. The warmest atmosphere we have is coming up with a system Friday night, Saturday morning, but at best maybe... Uh, it's just a kind of a wet snow at the passes. So Mount Hood, we'll skip that because we're going to get to that at 5 o'clock. Got to update that. But um, looks good up on Mount Hood. So mostly cloudy with uh, showers at the coastline tomorrow, increasing late in the day. After sunset, that's when it actually turns really wet. Our steady rain here in the valleys does not arrive until maybe 9 or 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Until that time, mainly you're all dry. I think we'll see a few more sun breaks tomorrow, and so we think it'll be a little bit warmer. Instead of the 42 we had today, probably about 46. Uh, increasing clouds and dry in the gorge, back to a light easterly wind, so you'll be a little cooler at Hood River tomorrow, about the same at the Dallas, 40 there. Uh, Mount Hood, clouds will be thickening up, a few flurries, about 35 at government camps, so just some morning icy spots over the passes. And then east of the Cascades, uneventful, mostly sunny, a lot of clouds in the southeast part of the state, but most of you getting at least a few degrees above freezing. You've seen this three-day forecast. I said it'll be turning wet tomorrow night. We're going to stay cooler than normal. A little or no freezing. Okay, what do we have as we go into the weekend and next week? Well, the weekend, I think it'll be wet and breezy on Saturday. Le uh, showers left over on Sunday. Early shower possible Monday. It may be cold enough one of these two days. You would have snowflakes mixed in in the morning, maybe. Probably not. And then we think we'll turn dry for most of Monday. And Tuesday, and look at that, Nora. Still no 50s, so cooler than average through the next week at least. Okay, thanks for the heads up, Mark.